Hello everyone, today I'm going to be introducing this amazing dish called Mluchiya in Arabic. It's translated as jute mallow in English. It's a type of leaf. Um, we cook it. Palestinians love this dish. This is actually very rich in fiber, which is great for your digestion and has a lot of vitamins. So today I'm going to be showing you step by step what to do. Mluchiya can be prepared with beef or lamb or with chicken. The majority um, actually cook this dish with chicken, but it's your preference. The ingredients I'm going to be using today are onions, tomatoes, chicken, garlic, and frozen jute mallow or mluchiya. I use both. I use the frozen one and I use the dry mluchiya as well. You're looking for a certain consistency and a certain texture and so you do need frozen mluchiya and the dry mluchiya. You can find the dry mluchiya at any Arabic local store. Okay, so you put ghee butter in the pot, you put the chicken, you're gonna toss it around you're gonna basically distribute the ghee butter evenly and you're gonna brown the chicken. And then you're gonna cut the onions. It really doesn't matter how fine the onions are, it's gonna get cooked. Toss it around, distributing the onions and the ghee butter, making sure all the flavors are being distributed evenly. You're gonna add salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then you're gonna add Arabic spices. You can get the Arabic spices at any Arabic store Again, you're going to distribute them evenly. You're going to put ginger. Ginger is great with chicken. It gives it that really nice flavor and it's like a hint of ginger. And then you're going to put cardamom. Most of my spices, I don't really measure. Just to be safe, you can add like a teaspoon of each if you're new to this or two teaspoons. Arabs are kind of heavy with spices. We like to actually add a lot of spices. And then you're gonna fill up the pot with water. You can actually either put chicken broth, but since we are boiling chicken, we're gonna make our own chicken broth. So you really don't need to do that. But a lot of people actually like to add more flavor and they add chicken broth to it instead of water. It's up to you. Just make sure that the chicken is being covered and then we're gonna let that boil. And to actually cook, it's gonna take half an hour. So while it's boiling, you're gonna get tomatoes and garlic. I get a whole head of garlic. With Arabic food, we tend to put a lot of garlic. Garlic is like the essence of our flavors. So you're gonna get garlic, you're gonna get tomato, you're gonna put salt, you're gonna put pepper. And then you're gonna get also chicken broth or bone broth and you're gonna mix it together. When you're putting it in the mixer, you're gonna pulse. You're gonna use the button pulse because you don't want it too fine. You actually want the tomatoes, you wanna find pieces of tomatoes in there. You don't want it like soupy. I add um, bone broth to make the process of mixing easier and also gives it more flavor. And you're gonna keep pulsing. When I'm making this dish, the, the smell of the house smells amazing. That garlic smell is delicious. As soon as the water starts boiling, the chicken, you're gonna put it on top of the soup. And then when the chicken is cooked, you're gonna add the frozen mluchiya. As soon as you see the frozen mluchiya starts to melt and it's being distributed evenly into the soup or it's being mixed well, you're going to add dry mluchiya. And then you're just gonna like mix it well. It's a very easy dish, it's, it's not complicated really. And then you're going to mince more garlic. This is for the end result. Like I said, the essence of our flavors are actually garlic. So you're gonna put ghee butter and then you're gonna put the garlic. And then you just keep moving it around until it gets a little toasty. This is gonna give the dish at the end this beautiful nutty flavor. And it's gonna add more garlic flavor as well. And it gives it that beautiful smell at the end. It's, it's perfection, honestly. And then you're just gonna add it into the soup. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some soup in there to make sure all those delicious flavors are actually being added into that soup. We're not gonna waste anything. And then the soup is gonna boil a couple more boils and then you just turn it off. We're done. So over here, guys, we usually have this really thin noodles, um, Arabic noodles called shariya, but unfortunately they don't make gluten-free shariya. So I had to make my own. I got some really thin ramen noodles and I crushed it kind of to make it look like those really thin noodles that you add on to the rice and I toast it with ghee butter and then I'm gonna put the rice on top of it and then you're gonna mix it. We usually cook that with mluchiya. I've been eating this since I was a child and I don't know how to eat mluchiya without the noodles, like without the noodles and the rice, just because I've always eaten it this way. And ever since I went gluten-free, it was really hard for me to make this type of rice. But then I had this idea, like I, I put it in the food processor and I kind of like 
crushed it a little bit where it got the same size. It was okay. It wasn't the same exact thing, but it, it was pretty close to what I'm used to eating. And this way you're making sure that I'm actually eating gluten-free. I mean, you can do without it. You don't have to put the noodles in there. You don't have to. But like I said, I've been eating this since I was a child, like this with the noodles. And so I really wanted to see if I can come up with a way to actually get it to resemble it. And then you're gonna put bone broth. After you put the ghee butter, you toss it around with the noodles. Make sure it's like it's toasted a little bit. You put the bone broth. You know, make sure you're distributing the liquids evenly. And then you're gonna put your thumb, your pinky, and it's supposed to, the liquid is supposed to come up to that line. That's when you know it's perfect. You don't need to add more. And then you're gonna add salt. Just make sure that the, the salt and the soup and everything is distributed. And then you let it sit and boil while it's uncovered. Let it come to a boil. And then as soon as it comes to a boil, you're gonna cover it. And when you cover the pot, it's gonna sit for another six minutes. As soon as those six minutes are done, turn off the stove. You're gonna take it off the stove and let it sit for another seven minutes covered without uncovering it. And then after those seven minutes are over, you're going to uncover the pot. You're gonna get a fork and you're just gonna move the rice around just to kind of fluff it up. And that's it. This is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you find this very useful. Definitely get yourself a copy of Dr. Wallach's cookbook. This is basically a textbook about how to cook without the bad foods, particularly oil and gluten. This is 300 pages stuffed full of recipes without the bad foods that they're usually made from. And definitely check out my book, Fake Diseases. It covers all of the major topics that come up like birth defects, blood sugar problems, bone and joint problems, cancer, autoimmune problems, and more. And it's on Amazon for just $9.99. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Notice Foods. We do post a lot more gluten-free and oil-free recipes. And feel free to message us on there. It's a lot easier for us to contact you. Thank you.